The Convention People's Party insists it is ready to present a formidable force for the 2024 elections despite recent internal wranglings. The party has faced tensions with some members petitioning for the removal of the national chairperson due to leadership disagreements. However, at the party's 75th anniversary event in Accra, Chairperson Nana Kosia Frimpoma Saponkuma Nkuma stated all issues have been resolved and the party is focused on working to present a strong force for the 2024 elections. Listen. Today, there have been discussion of peace. So there's some, somehow in the party a peace and a direction. And the direction today is we are rolling out the exact program that was given to us at the net before the confusion, which came to CC and was approved, so that by July, the third week in July, we would have our Congress. But from now, the organizers would give it out, whereby the, uh, I think the end of this month, would have finished our elections at the constituency level. The following month, early part of the month, we would have finished our elections at the regional level. And then we'll be able to finish the, the final one by the middle of July, the end of July, the entire the, 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 the Congress that will pick our flag bearer. But that doesn't, doesn't mean that we are sitting down because the constituencies have already worked. They've already done their mobilization already because they had this in almost a year now. So every constituency already has its mobilization. We are only going to give them the timelines for the elections to be started and completed. So that is where we are. Though we might look late, we are not. We, the Convention People's Party, won in 1989. Was it 89? 79. Within a very short period, we won because we are organized on the grounds. The reason why we have gone through all this is to ensure the Convention People's Party is respected and as we move forward, it becomes a formidable party. And the only way it becomes formidable is to abide by the Constitution and abide by the rules and the regulations that we ourselves have set and put together. That is why we, one of our pillars is ethics and integrity as we move on as a nation. We must abide by the ethics, the integrity of our people, by ourselves. We are going to demand more from the nation and we expect to demand more from us as a people. So the, con the people in the constituencies, just as by our, co our constitution, will be organizing by the end of this month, would have finished all our constituency elections. The following week, would have, uh, middle of that month, would have finished with all our regional, and then by the end of July, would finish with their Congress. Let's now focus on CPP at 75 and its fate in the upcoming general elections. And I've been joined by chairman of the new interim council of the party, Wing Commander Retired Patrick Sogbojo. Grateful for your time, sir. Does the CPP have any intention of contesting in the upcoming presidential elections? Yes, we do. We have less than six months to the election 2024. You are yet to finish your rebranding organizing a Congress. What is causing the delay then? Well, unfortunately, the CPP party have gone through some tumult. And uh, currently, the IOC, as you mentioned, their main duty is to reestablish the structures in the party to enable the party to run on into various things we have to do for the platform or the election. And we are seriously working towards that. Well, a party with the leadership crisis believes it will show a formidable force in six months. Is that what you're saying? How do you we, actually we reconcile the two faces? We don't have a leadership conference. There have been a lot of problems in the party. So the founders found it easy. So we can't sit down and let this party run down to the dark. So we met all the structures in the party, and the party agreed that we should form the interim management for the party, and this is done what has been done. So the interim IOC, we call your IMC, is to try and make sure that you can have a party without a machine. The headquarters is not working due to petty squabbles in between, but now this IMC is in position 
to try and settle all this thing, and things are going pretty fine. We're working very fast. We hope you can get there. It is not anti against anybody, but the squabbles in the party was you know, too much, and we, we felt it better to come in. And the CPP had done it before. You know, um, the six men, we hope we'll be able to eradicate all these petty, petty issues and then come back on stream. We have barely six months to this elections. And like I said, we've not seen much of the CPP. Do you think you have enough time to be able to put all of this in order before the elections? I think so. I don't think we need to come to the press or the public and tell them where we are not, where we haven't got in there. But we've we seen the would... major political parties, for instance, who've been so in some really campaign CPP activities. We've seen them working on their manifestos and all of that. We've not seen much from the CPP. Well, a house without well, peace cannot do much. That's what we are in to make sure we can restructure things and come out. So if you give us a breather, we'll get there soon. Like how many months breather do you need? Oh, there are no time last year, but we'll get there. Well, we wish the CPP well and happy anniversary. Thank you so much many for joining many us, many Wing many Commander. Very soon. So good, Joe. He's the yeah. chairman of the interim committee that he says has been set up to uh, put the house in order so they can present a formidable force in the upcoming elections. Let's